Coming up on today's show, you got the review with me. We'll also hear from Jamala Sells and goal scorer Dwight Gale. Rafa Benitez on the win, we'll hear from him. And finally, the goals are included in today's video. Hey, new intro. Do you like it? Let us know what you think in the comments down there below. Right, um, so you've seen obviously the intro, what we're going to be talking about today. So we won 2-0. Uh, the reason why the video is out late, I apologise. I'm hungover, as you might see. Uh, I had a great night out in South Shields. Not often we'll go there, but it was canny. So we won 2-0. Um, let's, let's crack on with it. We're going to start with uh, the, the, obviously the main talking point first, which is the lineup. So let's have a look how Leeds lined up in the start 11. So it was Green, Aylin, Bartley, Janssen, Taylor, O'Kane, Vieira, Roof, Phillips, Decora, Wood. And I got that lineup spot on, so well done, Lee. So I got uh, all of the lineups spot on there. Looking at Newcastle's, if we just swap swap over there to Newcastle's lineup. So he went with Darlo, Rafa went with Darlo, and then Anita, Lascelles, Clark, Dummett, Richie. He went with Cole back ahead of Hayden in the uh, second defensive midfield role. Shelby in the middle uh, alongside him. Gufran on the left. Instead of Atsu, uh, Richie on the right. Uh, he went with Perez in the number 10. Perez played the whole 90 games. Uh, 90 games, 90 minutes, sorry. And uh, Dwight Gale, uh, who played about 79, 80 minutes. Uh, obviously was a hero scoring two goals. Right, so before the game, this was, I said, the biggest fixture, big, biggest test that Newcastle had this season. It was probably Leeds' biggest test as well. And I have to say, in Newcastle, um, it wasn't the best performance I've seen Newcastle have all season, but... Very professional. Um, the early signs were there when Shelby just casually clips the ball in and Dwight Gale's on the run. And then he's fired at Rob Green. Green comes out and saves really well. So the warning signs were there, but the next the next piece of play, Newcastle going forward, what an error by Rob Green. So now you'll see it on your screen. For copyright reasons, can't put it, I can't put it full screen. So, I mean, what is, what is Rob Green doing there? I mean, what, he's, he's just a normal cross-flapping. It's not the first time, obviously, for England in the World Cup in South Africa. He cost us daily against the USA. Um, gift, we're not complaining. Dwight Gale uh, <laughs> literally taps it home. One of the, probably is going to be his easiest goal uh, all, all season, I have to say. So we're 1-0 up. Um, and then um, the, the best chance that Leeds had was when Aylin's, um header was tipped over by Darlow. But... Apart from that, Leeds didn't really offer too much going forward. They had a shout for a penalty where Vieira's cross and hit Cole back on the arm, but it's very, very close to Cole back. If you're going to give that, you're going to give hundreds of penalties away this season. So you might say we might have got lucky away with that one. You might say it wasn't a penalty. Some years probably say it will, but let us know what you thought. Think any of your comments down there below. So Leeds came out um, in the second half where... O'Kane fires a shot low and Darlow uh, forces it wide to save it, but that's the main threat that Leeds started to have. You would expect Leeds to start coming out and um, more or less dominating because they need, they need a goal, they need to play catch-up. However, um, Colback picks up the ball, Prez and Anita play a lovely one too. Anita crosses low and there's Dwight Gale to slide in, a tap-in going just close uh, with his celebration, just close. Um, so he's onside, it's 2-0 on the 54th minute, I think that was. Uh, Newcastle cruising, they kind of sucked the life a little bit out of Leeds. They did, ha they did have a good spell for about 20-25 minutes where they were the pressuring Newcastle for that goal and it, it, sadly it didn't come. Um, Chris Wood didn't really have much shout, didn't have much to shout about today. Uh, obviously he scored 11 goals himself. I think Lascelles and Clark looked after him really, really well. Um, apart from that, I think it was around just after the 71st minute where Ducara's header um, was straight at uh, Darlow. It was pretty tame, but uh, I'm going to be honest with you, the last 10 minutes I actually fell asleep because I was on the set. But 2-0 uh, winners, you know, we're, we're, if you look at, the, um, look at the league table now before we get on to the interviews, is uh, the league table, Newcastle sitting, look at that man, five points clear at the top of the league, nine points ahead of second, so third, sorry, nine points ahead of Redden, and a massive gap from the playoffs, some seven position uh, upward, so looking really healthy. I did say that we'll win the league by 10 points at the beginning of the season, even after the two first two defeats that we had. Uh, right, Jamal Sells and Dwight Gale, let's ha have a look what they've been saying about, uh, about the game. Well, fellas, Jamal, eight wins in a row in the league. Every time you go out, do you feel like you're going to win at the moment? Um, well, there's a level of uh, confidence and then 
complacency, so we don't want to get too much of, the, of either. So, um, you know, we just prepare for every game the same, and uh, whatever, whatever team we play against, the same preparation, and we come with the same professional head, so uh, that's it. That's right, it's 13 goals in 13 games for you so far this season. Tell us about those two today. The first one, was it worth a gamble? Uh, yeah, I mean, you've got to follow everything in, and luckily you've dropped it, and I was there to, to tap it in for the team. And then the second one was a great ball from Burn and great play from our team and they're just setting me up so I can't help but squad man. You were certain at the time that you were onside, you were actually just behind the ball. Uh, yeah, just happy it went in and pleased for the win today. You're clearly okay after that incident in the last few days, was there ever any doubt that you would play today? No, there was no doubt, I was like... Jamal, five points clear at the top but it's nine points clear of those playoff places, is that even more significant? Well of course, but again, we don't want to get um, ahead of ourselves so... We'll just prepare again for next week. We're going to be working hard in training and uh, get ready for the next game. And we're just going to take it step by step. Well done, Jamal. If you do go, please. Dwight Gale is the Sky Bet man of the match. Yeah, so <laughs> made it making a little joke about his teeth there, Dwight Gale. Uh, finally, let's hear from Rafa. Uh, let's hear what Rafa had to say on the win. Rafa, well done. Big test passed today. How highly do you rate that as an away performance? Yeah, we knew that could be a tough game and was like this. And I think we did what we have to do. We controlled the game for 30 minutes. In the first half, he scored the goal and we were under pressure the last 50 minutes because they were pushing with corners and free kicks. So we knew that could be like this. The reaction in the second half, again, the team was uh, doing well. We scored the second goal and after it was more or less the same. So they were pushing and we were trying to control and I think it was a, an interesting game for the fans and especially for our fans. Dwight Gale only needs a, a sniff of goal, doesn't he? Was there any hesitation putting him in today when Alexander Mitrovic has also been in such good form? No, I have to say that it was difficult for me to decide uh, who could play because uh, all of them they were coming back, training well, and uh, you could see that the, the, the team spirit in the training session was really good. So to decide to play one, the other one, or the Ame or Ajothio was quite difficult because uh, all of them, to be fair, they were doing well. So we'll march on, uh, we march on to next week, so that's another win, it's like something like nine wins in a row straight now, so it's fantastic. Uh, thank you very much for watching Newcastle Fans TV, if you like the video, give it a like, if you don't like the video, give it a dislike, it still, still promotes it anyway. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you later.